In this experiment, we will prepare a true solution using common salt in one beaker, sugar in the second beaker and alum in the third beaker. Then we will prepare suspensions of soil in the first beaker, chalk powder in the second beaker and fine sand in the third beaker. We will be using water as the solvent. And in the third part, we'll be preparing a colloidal solution by using starch and dissolving it in water. Or we'll also use egg albumin or milk. Out of the two, you can pick any one. Dissolve it in water. And then we will compare the two solutions, the suspension and the colloidal solution on the basis of the transparency, filtration criterion and stability. The material required for performing this experiment would be common salt, sugar and alum for preparing a true solution, chalk powder, sand, water and some soil for preparing a suspension, starch, milk and egg albumin for preparing a colloidal solution. So in the first part of the experiment, we will take three beakers and all the three beakers will put some water. In the first beaker, we'll add some salt and dissolve it with the help of a glass rod. In the second beaker, we'll put some sugar and dissolve it with the help of a glass rod. And in the third beaker, we'll add some alum and dissolve it with the help of a glass rod. Let's do this now and see what observations we get. Let us now prepare a true solution. We'll be using potash alum and salt. You can also do the same experiment using glucose powder. So I'm using some potash alum. in the first beaker. Let us stir it. In the second beaker, I am adding some common salt. We will be stirring this too. You can now see that both the solutions are absolutely clear. They have turned completely transparent showing that in case of a true solution, the light can completely pass through the solution and the light because it can completely pass through the solution, we can say that the solutions are transparent. So when we check with the stability, we find that there are no residues at the bottom. Even if we keep the solution for some time on the table like this, nothing will settle down showing that the solution is very stable. Also, if we filter the solution using a filter paper, you will find that there will be no residue left on the filter paper, showing that in case of a true solution, the particle size is very small and although the entire solution, the solute as well as the solvent can pass through the filter paper, leaving no residues on the filter paper. The second part of the experiment will be preparing suspensions. So in the first beaker, We'll add some soil in water and stir it with the help of a glass rod. In the second beaker, we'll add some chalk powder, stir it with the help of a glass rod. In the third beaker, to the water already taken, we'll add some fine sand and dissolve it with the help of this glass rod. Let's see the observations now. Let us now prepare a suspension. I'll be using some chalk powder and some soil and we'll dissolve these two in water and see the properties observed. So I am adding some chalk powder to one beaker and some soil to the other beaker. Let us stir it. And see the observations. You can see that the water turns milky in the first beaker. And the word water turns muddy in the second beaker. Now if you observe the characteristics, we were talking about transparency. You can see in both the solutions the water is not transparent. Kind of opaque or translucent is the word that can be used. And also if you let these two solutions stay on the table for a while, you will find that the clay and the chalk powder, both of them will start settling down after some time showing that the solutions are not stable. Also, if you filter these two solutions through a filter paper, 
you will find residue on the filter paper which shows that the size of the particles is big enough to be trapped by the filter paper. To prepare a colloidal solution, we have taken some water in a china dish and I will be using soluble starch here. So when we add this starch to water and we stir it, let us see what kind of a solution is obtained and we will observe the properties after that. We will be transferring the contents to a test tube so that we can see the results clearly. So on transferring the contents to a test tube, you can see that the solution looks kind of turbid. So this is what a colloidal solution looks like and uh, if you filter it through a filter paper, you will not find any residue left on the filter paper because the particle size is small and also light cannot completely pass through this so it will show the phenomena of scattering of light or Tyndall effect and that is why the solution looks translucent. Also if you leave this solution on the table for a while you will not find anything settling down showing that the solution is quite stable. It is observed that when a beam of light passes through true solution, suspension and a colloidal solution Scattering will not take place in a true solution because the particle size is extremely small. So we will not see any scattering in case of a true solution. But in case of a suspension and in case of a colloidal solution, we will be able to see the path of light passing through the solution because Tyndall effect will happen. Scattering of light will take place due to the bigger particle size in both of these suspension as well as colloidal solution. So after performing this experiment, when we compare the properties as we have already seen, we see that uh, in a true solution, the light can pass through it. In suspension, scattering of light beam will take place and in the colloidal solution also, the light beam will get scattered. As far as filtration is concerned, in case of a true solution, the entire contents pass through the filter paper and no residue is left on the filter paper. The reason is the particle size is extremely small. In case of a suspension, the particles will stay on the filter paper. Only the liquid part will flow down. Reason is the particle size is quite big. In case of a colloidal solution also, the contents will pass through the paper, leaving behind no sediment or residue. So colloids also pass completely through the filter paper. As far as the third criteria that is stability is concerned, true solutions they are very stable even if you keep it on the table for two days it remains the way it is so sediments do not settle down here. In case of a suspension it is unstable the sediments start settling down leaving clear water above it if you let it stay uh, still for a while whereas in case of colloids also there is no sedimentation no sediments settle down and therefore it is also considered to be stable.